Hey everyone, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And um, today we're doing a InterNACHI webinar. All of our webinars are free, online, interactive, so you can ask questions, uh, interact with attendees or ask questions to the presenter. And um, they're recorded, so if you can't make it, that's okay. Maybe you're watching it right now on YouTube or one of our social media channels. That's cool too. Um, but uh, we have a special guest today, Dan and Alberto from Simple Lab, and we're going to talk about lead in drinking water and old homes, which is, um, it all depends on, I guess, where you are as a home inspector, but in my area, just outside of a city, um, there's some older homes and there's some issues that we should all know about. Um, what I wanted to tell you before, uh, Dan, before you begin, if you have a moment, um, I wanted to offer attendees um, a free membership to InterNACHI, a 30-day membership to InterNACHI. If you're not a member and if you've never been a member um, because you are participating in this webinar, uh, we have a, uh, a code for you if you'd like to join InterNACHI. Just email the education team at education at internachi.org. That's education at internachi.org and ask for the webinar 30-day code. Um, to find a webinar, you go to any nachi.org page, nachi.org, and you scroll down from the Grow Your Business tab, and there's the webinar um, link there. You can get to one of our webinars. So right now we're doing um, lead in drinking water, um, but in a couple of days, we're going to do a code exam prep webinar, and then we're doing a robotic home inspection for crawl spaces. We're going to crawl through a crawl space with a robot, and then inspector boost starts. So there's a lot of opp opportunities um, from the nachi.org page. And also from the nachi.org page, if you're interested in taking a course, so we're going to do a webinar, um, kind of like an informal uh, training session about lead, water, water quality, old homes. But if you wanted to do a course, you go to any nachi.org page, use the search feature and type in um, inspect uh, water quality. And you can uh, see a ton of articles about water quality testing, um, potable water archives, uh, there's lead kits, there's private well, coliform, cysteine, uh, cistern uh, water, uh, private water things. Let's see, private well, private well water, here it is. How to inspect private drinking well water course. And there it is. Uh, it's free and online to every InterNACHI member. That's why if you're not a member, you can get that code to join InterNACHI and then you can take the course. And there's a ton of stuff that you can learn in a more formal way um, through uh, an online course provided by InterNACHI. And InterNACHI is a home inspector college at internachi.edu. Okay, so that is a lot of information um, that I wanted to share before Dan starts uh, his presentation. And Dan, I wanna thank you for taking some time out uh, and uh, tell us, uh, what are we gonna learn today? All right, so today we're gonna talk about lead in water. Um, so I guess I'll start with just a little bit. Uh, thanks, Ben, for the introduction. Um, again, I'm Dan. I'm with Simple Lab Water Testing. Uh, we're a water testing and water quality data company. We um, and I wanted to start by talking a little bit about my personal experience. So I did a water. I've got an old home. It was built before 1986. It was in fact built in 1920. Um, and I am on, you know, some of the best water city water that you can find in the country. Mm -hmm. um, however, after running a, a water test, we found lead in the pipes. And I will explain a little bit of the science behind how the lead gets into the into your water. Um, and so we, we found uh, we, we didn't quite hit EPA limits, uh, but we were pretty, but we were, we were getting there. Um, so if any, any homes built before 1986 will have old, you know, typically built with old piping that has some lead or there's lead in the, in the city water um, piping to get to your home. Um, and that lead essentially can leach in through either poor, um, so in, in, the house, in my house, for example, we had a couple of um, different joints that weren't supposed to be joined like different metals. 
uh, you're, there's certain metals that you're not supposed to join. I think that you probably know about those as a home inspector. If not, you should should talk to Ben. <laughs> um, but so there's uh, there basically is galvanic corrosion that happens when 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 and so what essentially happens is is some of these metals will leach into the water due to improper chemistry. I'm not going to go into super details about the chemistry, um, but it's uh, but it's a it's a very common problem and it happens in both municipal water and it happens in well water um, and it happens in even you know homes built that if you had a contractor that didn't really know what he was doing that put a couple of different joints together. All of these are risks. Um, for metals uh, and for lead especially. So the good news is that it's really easy to fix these issues. Uh, you can either do a point of entry, so like the water coming into the house yeah, it can be treated, or you can do point of use, which is uh, at the actual location where the water is gonna be used. So like, for example, we have a small RO system uh, at our tap. Um, and so anytime that we're drinking water, we take water from that tap. And so it's a really affordable fix. Um, and so we wanted to talk about, uh, you know, th these are all these are all issues that that come with um, with old homes. And so it's actually really easy to figure out if you have lead in your water. Um, we actually have uh, you know, we have a, a water test kit that's I think the total cost is thirty two dollars. So you can offer it, uh, you know, obviously you can upcharge your 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 customers for this for this kit. I typically suggest you know getting them interested at a at a very low price point like fifty or sixty nine dollars. You know you're still making a little bit of money, but you're but you're getting them interested in talking about water testing, um, which is the more important part. And so um, you can yeah so we can we can we offer lots of here actually I'm going to share my screen here real yep. quick. Yeah, um, so, so that you guys can see a little bit of what we do offer as far as water testing goes. So here is our, here's a, a basic dashboard and, and you can get to this dashboard by simply going to mytap.us backslash pro and you can make an account there. Um, so this, so once you make an account here, then you will have access to all of these um, tests and you'll have access to be able to estimate water quality, which I'll show you in a second. But since we're talking about lead and copper here, um, this is what I want to point you at. So you just click view and add it to cart uh, right here. This says exactly what we're testing for. It's a lead and copper test. Um, total cost to you, you pay $19 uh, now. And then when you actually use the test, you pay $13. Here's our, you know, one of our recommended MS. RPs. Obviously, at the end of the day, you know, you know your market better. And so you'll be able to, to choose your, your pricing better. But um, all of our kits have a five day turnaround time. If you need it faster, we do have rush kits, which, inc which have a three day turnaround once it is received at the lab. So um, all of our rush kits will have overnight shipping and three days in the lab. Um, you can have, uh, we, we include really simple instructions so you don't have to be a chemist to, to test the water. Um, I'll show you some of these instructions. They're, you know, one, two, three, and four steps. And they're all in big, big, bold letters. Uh, so they're, you know, anyone can do these tests. Um, even so me. Even Ben can do <laughs> these tests. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any, you know, if you have any questions, you can always message us down here at the at the bottom. Um, there's a little button that will get you in contact with one of our team members. So this is a really convenient service for you. You don't have to be a scientist to use it. We also offer a lot of different other types of water testing. We offer radon in water, coliform in water. Uh, our city basic kits are pretty affordable. They're sixty nine dollars, and test for ten different um, things in the water. Uh, and, you know, we've got lots of other more advanced testing. So, for example, if we have a, our, our advanced city test, which tests for volatile organic compounds as well. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys a really cool tool, which we're still, which is still very, in, or very much early in development. But if you go under our data tools, you can actually do a water quality search. Um, which is an estimate of water quality in your area. So here I've, I've put in an address that is very close to my house um, and I click search. I have to tell them if I'm on, you know, surface water, well water, or on a utility. I'm connected to the East Bay Mud utility. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on utility and East Bay Mud. And it's going to give me an estimate of my water quality, of my corrosion index, um, 
so that that's a cool tool also if you're you know interested in if you just want to check out this is a this is a totally free tool for inspectors right now if you want to check out you know a water quality estimate um, in your area I think this would be really good um, and it will show you some of the most common contaminants in that area so you can see we don't have well, let's, let me look for lead here it looks like we don't have lead as one of our um, big uh, contaminants right now but here are some of the other contaminants that we do have uh, pre that are fairly present in our water so yeah that's um that's most of what i wanted to talk about um the and I wanted to maybe open it up. Uh, well, before opening it up, Ben, did you have anything you want else you wanted to touch on? Well, uh, this must be a, a hot thing because you know we have not just uh, private wells that have always had water quality uh, issues. You got to maintain and keep things clean and monitor your private well because anything that's coming out of the ground uh, nowadays is kind of uh, it varies, you know, but. Uh, there are entire cities that have water quality problems. And if I was in one of those cities, I'd certainly want a tool that makes my inspection services a lot easier to use and offer. And I really like the idea of going in low with something affordable just to start the conversation. And what was that again? What, what did you recommend as a, a, a starting point for a home inspector to offer a client? Uh, yeah, so the lead and copper was the was kind of what I what I used to get interest uh, to the customers. Um, again, that test is uh, thirty two dollars for you if you can wait the five days. If you need it rushed and you need it in three days, uh, the cost is sixty nine dollars. Again, you pay nineteen up front, fifty when you actually use it. Um, but as far as you know, if you're doing anything with wells, we do have our our specialized well tests. Um, and again, here we have our well test, and this well test does cover everything. Um, required for an FHA or VA loan inspection. Um, so that includes arsenic, lead, all of our nitrates, nitrites, E. coli, e. coli and total coliforms. Um, again, the turnaround time is five business days. You've got your instructions, your sampling guide. And oh, and I forgot to talk about an example report. What, is, what does it look like after you get your... Um, after you run a, a test. So again, we here we have a, other uh, slightly upgraded um, well tests. So this one, for example, is 50 different things, FHA VA loan compliant uh, for a total of $129. Um, and let me show you one of our example reports because this is such an important part of the process is that people don't understand what, you know, water, I mean, like, you've, you've probably only heard of a couple of contaminants in water. And here we are, you know, offering you a test that has 110 different contaminants. Um, so, I, so it's important for you to be able to like, read this without being a scientist. So I think that this is one of the coolest parts of our of our of what we do is the water quality report. Um, and so this is uh, you get you get just an easy out of 100 uh, well, out of 99 points um, score that anyone can read. And so you go ahead and just click begin and it's gonna, it's gonna walk you through your biggest, most important um, contaminants. So in this case, uh, we have high manganese. Um, it talks about the health effects, nervous system, reproductive systems. Um, so this is why you should be concerned where it can come from. So the common sources, uh, tastes and odors, et cetera, et cetera. You can look through here. You've got a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different uh, contaminants, very, very detailed um, on, on what the health effects of each contaminant are. Um, support for those, if you wanna look at the, you know, the, if you wanna really get into the science, you can click on the learn more button. Um, but the important part, uh, so, you know, we also have some other information on here, the general characteristics, tastes and colors, um, as well as all of your results, just like a regular lab report. However, the important part is the treatment recommendations is that we tell you, um, you know, you, you don't have to scare your customers. We tell you exactly how you can treat these problems. And so we have like point of use solutions, which are really, really affordable. Um, so for example, to reduce manganese, you can just get one of these, um, you've probably used these Brita type filters. Um, but if you want a more, and, and you, you've got lots of options. And so we're, we're kind of unbiased in, in our recommendations. We give you pretty much any option that you want. You've got RO systems, um, but we also have, you know, the point of entry recommendations. Um, if you want to go on the more upscale 
um, options. And so you're never going to scare away one of your customers uh, from these scores because we tell you exactly how to treat the water. We tell you everything that's in the water and it's affordable to treat the water. So if you know what's in your water, you can, it's very easy to treat. So that's, uh, that's the other thing I wanted to, to point out. That's a great report. I really like the, the simple uh, out of a, a 99 score, uh, what, what the water quality score is. If anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to ask a question for Dan and Alberto. And um, I know, Paul, you chatted something. And um, Paul, you may have asked a question as well. Uh, I know Alberta probably already uh, answered it, but maybe it's good information. Uh, Paul asked, if we order a test kit from you, how long does it take to get it to us? So the test kit to you can be overnighted if you want to, but it's going to add a lot of cost to that. Yeah. Um, so uh, what, uh, typically, for, for no additional cost, uh, it'll, do, it'll typically be uh, one week. Um, if you want it rushed, uh, we can do as fast as you want, as fast as overnight. Um, however, overnight costs, I think, are 50 or $60 added on top, on top of all of the testing. So if you're ordering a $32 test, um, it doesn't make sense to do that. And that's why, I, that's why we offer them so affordably. That's why we offer these pay later kits. Um, so you'll notice that, all, that almost all of our kits are $19 pay now. Yeah. Um, so that you can go ahead and order a bunch of these tests, have them all on hand. So here you can see all of our pay later kits um, being offered for $19. I think the really advanced ones are 29, um, just to cover a little bit of the additional cost, but almost all of the basic ones or all of the basic ones are $19. Yep. We have a really good question about PFAS. Um, mm -hmm. So as the public gains more knowledge about PFAS and the EPA still has not regulated contamination levels, do you offer tests for these contaminants? Yes, we do. Um, I think, I'm not sure if they show up right off of your dashboard. Um, it looks like they don't. So you, if you want it added to your dashboard, uh, so there's a couple of options. Um, you can either, uh, to get a PFAS test, you can either send me or um, Alberto. I, I guess I haven't introduced Alberto. Alberto is going to be your, uh, your sales guy for home inspect, anything home inspector related. Um, Alberto, do you want to just say a quick hello? Hey, guys. What's up? I'm sorry for arriving a little late. I was having some issues, some connectivity issues with Zoom. Not surprising, it happens at times. Uh, but it's a pleasure, I'm, I can answer your questions. Uh, I'm also gonna be touching on important points uh, that will be interesting for everybody regarding water testing. So thank you for having me as well. And if you sign up, Alberta will reach out to you. So if you just Definitely. go to, again, if you just go to mytap.us backslash pro, um, I think I usually open up a, a giant Google document to show the link. Um, there we go. So if you go to this link um, and sign up, you will be able to get a hold of Alberto. Um, mm -hmm. Alberto will actually contact you. He'll give you a call. He'll send you an email uh, just to make sure that you've got it. So you can request the PFAS test uh, to be added to your dashboard, or you can, um, I, that, that's probably the simplest way. It's just to, just send us an email and say, hey, I'm interested in your PFAS test. The PFAS test is pricey. I think it's around $200. Um, but I think that it's a, it's a good test to have. Um, Billy asked if we can uh, bulk stock the kits or order as you go, you can do either one. Um, so that's again, why we offer these at $19 so that you can order, you know, 10 of them for 120 bucks um, and have them all on stock, or you can um, go ahead and uh, just order them as you go. I really recommend just because of the delay in getting them to you, I do recommend having a bunch of these on hand. Um, maybe not a bunch of them, but at least, you know, a lead and copper, a well kit, and a city basic would be the, the minimum recommendation of, of what kits you should have. All of our well kits, I did forget to mention, come with an ice pack so that when you send it in, the coliform and E. coli can arrive at the lab at the right temperature, and all of the well kits are and overnighted. John asked us a really good question, which is where is the lab located? So 
uh, John, we actually have, a, we're a conglomerate of labs. So we've got 100 labs in our network, 100 plus labs in our network. So it depends on which test you're doing and where uh, you're located to which lab we're going to send that to. So l let's say that you're in, you know, Oklahoma uh, and you're just doing a, a lead and copper test. It's probably not going to go very far. But if you're doing like the full gamut, the full VOC test, the reason that we can offer it so uh, affordably is because we take tests from all over the United States and send them all to one lab and they run it in bulk so that's why we're able to 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 drop the prices on these um, you're not going to find a local lab that offers um that offers our voc test anywhere near uh the price that we offer it at um, i think that our our test alberto maybe correct me if i'm wrong i think it's around 220 for the full uh well voc test um and if yeah. uh, well i guess we can look it up right here <laughs> We've got the so any of these plus tests will include your VOCs. So you've got, for example, the city basic or the sorry, the city plus, which includes all of your VOCs for 189. Uh, the lowest I've heard from a local lab is about $500 for those tests. So <laughs> Um, the, you know, you might be able to, you might be able to find a local lab that can do coliform and E. coli that's really affordable and then you should use them if, if, if that's the best option for you. Um, this is a service that just makes everything simple, uh, as is, you know, it's in our name. <laughs> um, okay, so can I walk you through an on-site process? Absolutely. Um, if you, again, if you go to uh, sign up with us at mytap.us backslash pro, uh, Alberto will send you an email that includes a video of this whole process, but it's actually pretty simple. If they are on city water, you have the kit in your car, you say, hey, are you interested in a water test? I offer lead and copper as cheap as, you know, $50, $69. Um, if they say yes, you round to your car, you grab the kit, uh, you have to take, um, you have to take a couple of samples. Uh, the instructions, again, are very clear. So depending on the test here, we'll just run through a lead and copper test instruction. And, and Dan and Alberta, uh, I have three magic words for home inspectors to say in order to sell a water test while I'm here. So while you're here doing a home inspection, while I'm yeah. here, don't ask me to come back later. While I'm here, I might as well take a water sample. And here's what that, I That's do. great. Yeah, that, that's a great starting um, sentence, Ben, because especially home inspectors have a really powerful resource with the pamphlet. Uh, that is contained inside the box of each water kit. So this pamphlet um, is a thing of magic. It's really uh, artistically and visually created in, in a way that it, it creates awareness. And people might not have initial awareness about water testing, but when you explain things to them and when they get to see the pamphlet, uh, I've seen it change many times around. Yeah, we, we're constantly improving our materials. Um... So here is the sample collection process for a lead and copper test. So step, step one was read the instructions. <laughs> um, <laughs> step two is essentially remove any aerators. So if you have a faucet with an aerator, things tend to get stuck in there. And so it can kind of bias the results. Um, so you, can, you don't want to also touch the inside of, the, of, the, of our testing materials. Um, they tend to have chemicals inside of them. So just don't, you know, open it and just put the water in, uh, fill it, the fill the container to its shoulder. So, you know, we can show a little nice drawing here and obviously use a low flow. You don't want a water splashing everywhere um, and then close the lid tightly. Um, go to your account, which you can go again to just the mytap.us backslash pro to sign in. Um, click on the report ID for this particular test and uh, complete the fields so that you, you know you're going to have to tell us where did you take the water from, uh, what time is it, you know, or we automatically record the time, um, and you, you complete the. I, I think that we've actually, I think we're about to get rid of sample information cards, or they're op, they're like almost not necessary now. Um, but you do need to from the field. We do have a very mobile friendly um, app, well website, so. You can just log in and it's very easy to click on your your uh, test that you're trying to activate and activate it while you're in the field. So it's very minimal time, as you can see. Then you just drop this off, uh, depending on the label that you have for most home inspectors, it's UPS um, and send it into the lab. And that's that's it. It's it's really, really simple. Um, 
we we try to make this as easy for you as possible so that you can have a good experience and um, enjoy you know getting a very clean report that that answers all of your customers questions and if they if it doesn't answer their questions again on the reports uh, you've got this little button over here in the corner you can just click the button and you can talk to us and we are available during extended business hours um, so that hopefully answers Paul's uh, walking through the process question. What about disinfecting, uh, spraying it with alcohol or, you know, I'm old school. I never did it, but some of the old timers used to get a little, uh, flame going and heat up the, <laughs> the great question. The so that, that it, disinfection will be done for any of our, uh, biologicals. So again, if you're doing, well, let's do a well test since, um, the well test is a little more exciting than the others. So for the well <laughs> test, uh, there will be two sampling two or there will be multiple, uh, bottles because you're going to be testing one for metals, one for biologicals and there is going to be a difference in these two different tests so um, the the all of the well tests like i said include a freeze pack uh, which you need to you know just when you get the test just or or the, the the package just throw it in the freezer and on the day of the inspection get a little uh, uh lunch box so that you can keep your your water test nice and cold um and, or your your freeze pack nice and cold. And we include uh, the sampling gloves for the, because I think there's a couple of acids in, inside of some of these bottles. Um, and so you're gonna have two large uh, bottles, which are first draw recommended. Now, what that means is that it's the very first draw before you do anything else. You want the water to have sit, uh, to have sat in these pipes for a long time. Now, the fully flushed um, recommended is uh, basically a fully flush is just you let the water run for for a couple of minutes and that's now fully flushed. The idea is to get all the water from the pipes uh, out so that you're not getting biased results from that. So it just depends on what you're testing, what you want to get. So like if the water's been sitting for a long time, that's the that's where you want to test for the metals um, so that's the first draw and the biologicals you don't want them to have you you just want to kind of run the water quickly through there to see if there's extensive biologicals because what tends to happen is like at the near the tap or at the aerators um, biologicals tend to grow and so you can get biased results from that yeah. um, so again the sample collection is pretty easy uh, you know, it says, you know, don't stick your finger in the bottle and then in your eye um, because they contain preservatives. You know, try not to overflow. Don't inhale. Don't swallow. Don't give to children, et cetera, et cetera. Um, remove any aerators, like I said, and then start with the two large bottles because those are first draw. So turn off and disinfect the faucet and we include a disinfecting wipe um, in there. And then you will fill the small bottles. Um, after doing the large bottles. Uh, so, so the idea again of the large bottles is to, to basically get the biologicals. Um, and so you will sanitize it after removing the, the aerator. Um, and yeah, so just uh, like I said, these, these instructions, they're very thorough um, and they're very simple. There's usually just four steps for these instructions. Yep, and Steve chatted a question. How long are the tests good before you have to use them? I guess the bottles, you know, the all Yeah, bottles. so we recommend a year you know, you probably could get away with more, um, but that's what we stand behind is a year. Cool. And there's a couple other questions. Would you, you want to take them? Um, I'm not seeing any new questions other than walk us through the onsite process. Uh, where the lab located? Right, right. Yeah, you already answered the one where the lab is located. It's a conglomerate of labs uh, all around the country. So we usually choose the best one according to the test that you're performing or the one that will reach you faster as well, right? Oh, I see the chat. There's a there's another chat box. Sorry, I think I missed the other chat box. Um, okay, okay. Um, I think that's I think that's all the questions. Does anyone have any final questions? Uh, does the report? That's a, actually a great question. Does the report? Uh, Paul asked. Does the report get emailed to the customer, to the inspector, or both? You can actually choose. Um, I think the standard because you know home inspections are like go 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 go. Uh, the standard is to send them to both but you can change that under your report settings. So you can choose if you want uh, just our, if you want our fancy tap score report, you can choose over here. Um, you can turn off or turn on rec uh, treatment recommendations. They're automatically selected as on for home inspectors. 
you can also choose to review the reports here. So do you want to see the report before your customer gets it? I actually, now that I, now that I see this, I believe this is automatically set to on, but if you want to turn this off and get your home, get your, um, the report to your homeowner as soon as possible, then you turn this off. Um, I've had a couple inspectors, you know, prefer that, that this is on so that they can then communicate with the real estate agent and they don't have the customer driving them crazy. So if this is on, you either have to approve the report or you have to wait 72 hours to get the report or, or for the customer to get the report. You can also choose the PDF only option, um, et cetera, et cetera. That's really handy. That's really, you make it really easy. Yeah, we try. Because <laughs> when I was doing home inspections, this is a while ago, I got the laboratory, uh, laboratory result and you had just have to, it looks like crap because it was emailed over or faxed over a long time ago. And I would have to interpret things and yeah. explain things. But and you have taken tough. all of that explanation stuff out of the equation for the home inspector. You do it all and you make it really simple to understand. Very yeah, easy. so so we want to we want to make it easy for the home inspector to not have to spend any more time on on this. You know, the, the goal is for you to make you know, uh, for example, if you're selling a well test, most of our well tests are sold around two hundred dollars. Um, we sell it to you at a hundred, so your turnaround is a hundred bucks. If you can do that by just you know spending another ten minutes taking a sample and five minutes driving to UPS, like. That's hundred dollars in fifteen minutes. That's a good deal. Right. Uh, so that's that's kind of our goal. That's is is we want you to be successful so that we can also be successful. Um, Billy did ask about preferred storage temperature for the kits. Uh, I would just say avoid extreme temperatures. Um, I don't think the cold temperature would affect it at all, though. I think it would just be avoid extreme hot temperatures. You don't. Um, you know, if you if you live in Arizona uh, in the dead of summer, you probably don't want to leave the kit in the car all day for a month. Um, but if it's, you know, I, I think on any reasonable, uh, I think within anything that you would feel comfortable leaving your friend in. Um, <laughs> so if you're, <laughs> would you leave your friend in your car? Then then I think that would be that would be fine uh, as, as long as you know it's not hitting some crazy high temperatures. Um, and you're not trying to bake an egg inside of your car. I think that that should be fine. Yep. And Tr Trail Andres is asking a really interesting question. He says, will this set us up for lawsuit? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, the answer is you do need to talk to your insurance company. I think that um, Alberto, was it $50 a year? Yeah, yeah, it it's $50 about... for them to yeah. integrate it into, uh, into the contract. So your insurance will go up fifty dollars a year um, if you sell one test that pays for itself. Um, yeah. And yeah, fifty dollars yeah. give or take it depends. I think it's not that far off from that amount, but yeah. And it's a great opportunity to increase gross revenue by bundling inspection services. And so when you do that, you have to think about um, the risk is really uh, what is the cost of managing the risk. And so if you're backed up by insurance for fifty bucks a year, um, there you go. That's $50 a year, that's pennies a day for um, the opportunity to increase your gross revenue, uh, like Dan said, by um, $100 in 10 minutes. So um, think about it in that way as well. Whenever you do anything, there's, you know, you can't stop lawsuits, but um, if you can uh, figure out the cost of mitigating or managing that risk, um, that's the business decision that you need to make. Yeah, and we've been working with lots of home inspectors for now a couple of years, and we have heard no lawsuits so far. <laughs> so I've never been sued over water. I've never been yeah. sued over a water result because I'm not the laboratory. Yeah, I'm, I'm not providing the uh, results. Um, and then there's uh, there's Simple Lab in between. Um, yeah. And you're, you're handling so it. yeah, if if there was some lawsuit, it would probably end up with uh, going to the lab or going to us. Um, but again, you know, we just say get covered $50 a year is not yeah. a big cost. Yeah. Well, Simple Lab, I really appreciate it. Dan and Alberto, thank you so much for taking some time out to show us uh, what you got for us home inspectors. Where should a home inspector go to get more information? There yep. you go. And so 
everything, I'm just going to direct you to this site. If you want to activate your kit, if you want to order a kit, if you want to sign up and just learn more and search for water quality uh, estimates for free, remember those water quality estimates were pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can type in your address. Again, we're still, that's still a pretty early stage product. So just bear with us as we, we add tons and tons of data onto that. Um, but all of that should be through mytap.us backslash pro. Um, you can sign up and Alberta will be reaching out to you shortly after you sign up. Yep. Yeah, guys. And if you're having any troubles of any sort, uh, please don't hesitate. I will contact you as soon as I can. So yeah, we'll be talking to you soon. Just in case someone wants the email, it's, uh, it's Alberto at gosimplelab.com. Awesome. And yep. let me say that again, for those who are listening to our podcast, um, it's my tap, one word, M Y T A P dot U S slash. And that's the, if you're on a keyboard, that's near the question mark, uh, pro. <laughs> Great. Thanks. <laughs> and Alberto, really, thank you very much. Um, Thanks for Thank the, you, ben. Doing such a, a great job with your simple lab. I've seen it grow so fast and it's, it's getting better every time you come on. Uh, let's do another webinar together and give us another update. Great. That sounds good. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. All right. Take care. Stay Thanks, safe. Ben. And Have a good one. Bye-bye. Right. You too.